This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. Back more here with UNI Athletic Director David Harris as we preview the upcoming school year. It's just about a week away. And David, football and volleyball have had a lot of success in the fall. Soccer had a lot of success last year as well. Cross country won, the women won the conference championship. But volleyball, wow, they really got it done in the classroom as well as on the court last year. Talk about specifically their success. Yeah, Coach Peterson continues to do a great job. You know, in the classroom, when you look at the success that our student athletes are having, uh, and then just another year in which we're qualifying for the NCAA tournament, you almost get to a point where you take it for granted. You, you know, I'm never going to take it for granted, but you just uh, ultimately look at our fans and, and others. They really have gotten to a point where they expect us to have that kind of success in volleyball. They expect us uh, to play great competition, and they expect us to win and, and to have success. I think last year was maybe the 20th year in which we qualified for the NCAA tournament. And I think this year we're coming back and playing against 10 teams that were in the NCAA tournament last year. Uh, so ultimately, really proud of what we've been able to accomplish uh, with our volleyball program, but mostly because we have true student athletes, young women who come, uh, they do well in the classroom, they graduate, they represent us well in the community, and when they're out on the court, they're just a force to be reckoned with. How about football? Uh, the, the new turf, the dome, I'm just getting excited to kick off at Iowa State and hopefully beat the Cyclones like we did last year. Sure, uh, that would be a great way to start the year, uh, definitely. And as you can see, we have the turf installed behind us. Uh, I'm excited for the year. I know Coach Frawley has talked during the offseason uh, about how close we were. Uh, you know, you look at the kind of season that we have and there's a natural assumption, well, you must not have been a very good team. Well, actually, we were a good team, uh, but we got to find a way to be able to do some things to finish off games. And uh, Coach Farley has talked quite a bit about being four points away because we played against three of the four teams uh, that were in the Final Four and we lost to each of them by four points. And so uh, I believe we brought in the kind of young men that will help us be able to make up that gap. But I'm really excited for the beginning of the year. I, I enjoy football season. Uh, I like going back to Ames and, and being able to compete there. And, and I feel like Coach Rawley will have our, our guys ready. But uh, as we get into our first game here against Cal Poly, uh, I'll be excited to see the crowd and just everybody being ready for the start of another football season. And uh, I feel like Coach Rawley is going to have us in a position where we're really ready to play and we'll have a good year. There are so many different ticket options available. So you can get season tickets. You can get individual game day tickets. You have mini packs uh, that you can get. That's really important important to get people in here and, and make it a home field advantage. Yeah, we want to provide uh, a number of different ways, depending on what your situation is, that you can buy tickets. And so whether it's a mini pack or a single game or season tickets, or this year the new option where you can buy t 10 tickets uh, and use them at any point in the season that you'd want to. So different price points, different options. The main idea is that we want you here. We want you here <laughs> in the dome. We want you to fill this place. We want our student athletes to have a great experience and to have a true home field advantage and that means having our students here that means having fans having donors uh, and just making this place loud and making it a true home field advantage uh, for our team the way that I've heard about it being in the past when we've had 16 or 17 thousand people here uh, we like to be able to duplicate that so we feel like it's our responsibility to make sure that the fans know what the options are they know we want them coach Frawley makes it clear that they make a difference for us uh, they help us to win games and so hopefully everybody who's listening to this will come out to the Unidome and, and watch the team play.